Here, let's find the greatest common factor of two monomials. So on the left, we have the number, or the monomial 10, c to the power of 4. And on the right-hand side, we have the monomial 13, c squared. Okay, I recommend on these ones breaking down. It gets into good habits with factoring also. 10 breaks down uh, into prime factorization and as, as a 2 and a 5. So that means that the right hand or the left hand side over here is could be viewed as 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by c to the power of 4. On the right hand side we have 13 which is already a prime number so it can't be broken down any further and then we have a c squared. The greatest common factor of two monomials requires taking the largest possible exponent on every base that you can possibly take. Because it needs to be a factor of both, so it needs to go into both sides, and it has to be the biggest possible one. So let's first look at the number 2. 2 is on the left, but it's not on the right. So that's not a viable factor, because it's not common. Same goes for 5. We have a 5 on the left, but we do not have a 5 on the right. 13 is on the right, but it's not on the left. So none of the numbers end up being common factors here. But we do have a common C. In fact, because there's a C, and on the left-hand side we have 4, and on the right-hand side we have 2, we can take the least of these exponents and say that c squared is the greatest common factor. Notice c squared goes into c squared, and c squared goes into c to the fourth power, because there's even more c's over there. So again, the process would be to prime factorize, if po uh, uh, yeah, prime factorize, and then take the least of the possible exponents. Let's do another example just to get some extra practice here. 12 would be 6 times 2, which is 2 times 3. So the prime factorization would be 2 copies of 2, 1 copy of 3, and then the x cubed. And 8 breaks down into 2 times 4 and 2 times 2. So the 8x squared would break into 2 cubed times x squared. So again, just like before, to make the GCF, I'm going to take the greatest common factor. So I can definitely use 2's, there's a 2 on the left and the right, and between the exponents of 2 and 3, notice that the 2 is smaller than the 3, so I'm going to put a 2 over here. This means uh, I'm essentially taking the 2 squared, because 2 squared goes into 2 squared, and 2 squared goes into 2 cubed. There's additional 2's over here. Next, the number 3, unfortunately, is on the left, but is not on the right, so it's not a common factor, so that won't be used in our GCF. And finally, there is x is common. On the left, there are 3 of them, and on the right, there are 2 of them, and between those exponents, the 2 is the smaller exponent. So the final answer for this one would be 2 squared x squared, and since 2 squared is 4, we'll usually write 4x squared.